Hello my lovelies! Hope you've been well. It's another monthly video so I'm just gonna get started because we have a bit of stuff to go through. So the first um, the first item on my favorites list from Fe February is this really gorgeous Diner Tien. I was so lucky to be able to purchase this because there's limited amount of them in each um, partner store so I'm very glad for journals for them to be able to get it in and actually get to stamp it with the stamp as well so currently this hasn't been started i wanted to keep a food review kind of journal but i haven't gotten any time to start it but i'm just so obsessed over the little charms and the the like the camel of it because camel is my favorite favorite leather and it smells so good i just really love the smell of new travels <laughs> notebook before kind of like the leather smells kind of vague and I really really love this color as well it's it's a different color from the record one I have which is pretty interesting because I thought they were the same color but no it's not it's a little bit lighter if you can see but a full unboxing of this um, and all the other stuff because it, it didn't only come with the cover it comes with a little bit of stickers and things like that so if you're interested in that um, that was a few videos ago but I will be sure to link it down below for you but I've been really liking it even though I haven't been using it a lot but I've been putting it near my desk to just look at because it's just so gorgeous and I just really like it so that's my first favorite is going to place here and then my second favorite is this tape from dear studio so i got this the same time i got the dear studio from last time but um this one i only gotten to use on february and i really liked it like the vibe of it is very very rainy kind of london kind of vibe if i can say that but i don't know everything about it just it's just so lovely and I really really like this tape so I've used it quite a bit on this um, journal so this, this is from this tape and these two are from this tape as well it's just like it has a lot of different kind of moments and little like bits and pieces I'll take you through everything where did we start so there's like so much I think that's where we started, wasn't it? Oh no, we started here. So as you can see, the loop is quite big and I am actually, you know how much I love um, flower PET tapes, right? So I actually have gotten myself quite a bit of that. So these days when I get PET tapes, I'm trying really hard to branch out to other things because if I do a spread with just flowers, it's a little, like it's not dynamic enough these days for me I want to be able to put other things so that's why with my PET tapes these days I'm trying to find ones that has like you know other things other than just flowers like little shop windows like this one or like other things that I can be used so um, yeah so that's why for February I've been really liking this tape so there you go that's the PET tape of the month I'll put this away because it's not part of it but um and then the rest of the stuff that I introduced after this are going to be more like pen ink and those kind of other stuff if that makes sense okay so the first thing that I've been really loving is having my swatch in a little word card these I actually just got from Daiso for quite cheap I think you get Kind of like depending on how big you want your swatches cards are you can get like a pack of four or three this is like the one of the smallest one i figured if i was getting in because i wanted to use this not only for at home when i'm just comparing um in colors but i also want to kind of maybe take it a way to kind of if there's any meetups or if I'm going to like a place that sells ink to swatch them I think it would be nice to actually take it away for you know for swatching and things like that 
and um, this is this idea actually comes from my really good friend Jasmine Marie Plans. I will link down her Instagram down below. But she actually does a lot of ink swatching, and she has this. Uh, this is what she uses, and I, I figured out. You know what? It's actually a really good idea. Also because you can just reorder this as you see fit, right? If I get a green that's in the middle of like the inner hole and what was the next one? Like the Mosbach green. I can just put it in here. So it's like very easy to like shuffle around, which I like. I really like the freedom of being able to shovel around stuff. You'll know this because the PET tape storage that I end up really loving are the ones that is in rings and I can just shuffle around so this is this has been very useful also a tip that I've picked out from her I won't take credit for this what you do is you actually run the color of the ink on the side as well I don't know if you can see it because I don't own that much ink these the rest of these are actually still empty but um, you can see that you can see the color from the edge I don't know if that's possible see because I don't, I don't have many I just have this much but you can see the color of it and you can tell um, you can find the color you want so much easier instead of having to flick through it one by one but if you have it on here you know what I might try to do I might try to wash the bottom a little bit with some color as well not only the edge because at least when I do this quickly then it shows it on the bottom as well I think I'll, I'll do that but also this was the first time that I did it and then I realized, you know what, I have this um, Beverly stamp that I've been I bought to specifically to swatch ink. So I created one like this and I really love the look, like it's really nice and then you get to write what it is in the inside even though there's not a lot of writing but it just amazes me how perfectly it like stamps in, in this card so I think I'm gonna redo all my swatches to look like this and then to have that strip on the bottom I think that's what I'm going to do but we'll see because now that if I want another strip it's gonna be very tight so um, next time I found a way to do it better I will update you guys in my Instagram or when we do one of his favorite things but I just can't like I just can't hold it back not to tell you guys because I feel like this is such a great system because you can like you know just take it with you when you're buying inks and you can even even if you can't swatch it on the moment if you take it for you to you the inks the ink store and you they have swatches you can just do it like that and see if it's very similar to ones that you already have kind of thing so i feel like this is going to be very very useful if you if you like you know just for your own records but also for just general like when you take it out to find out what you want and if it's similar to what you already have because you know we all always have that moment right because i get that all the time with other things like um Especially when I'm out and I don't know what's in my stash like that sounds really bad But sometimes like you can't like picture a certain color properly right when you get something and then you come back home And you're like actually it's closer than I thought so I think this will be very very useful if you actually go out and buy ink so So that's a favorite, but this one this stamp is also a favorite this is by Beverly um, made in Japan and they have a few different like bottle types so depending on what you like you can get like the other ones as well um, this is the one that I choose because I like the look because it's more like minimal but I've been really liking using this for swatching so yeah so that's one of my favorite this month as well as well as that um, I recently got myself an Oyster Hour ink from Ferris Wheel Press and it's really really nice. Um, I won't swatch it because I obviously have one in my swatch book. Um, so that's the color. Very very nice like... Um, how do I explain it? Feels like coffee but not really. It's like diluted, either diluted coffee or like a milk tea kind of color. Maybe that's how I say it. Like feels like a milk tea color and I really love milk tea so that's why I really like it but I also tried it on my planner this week and I actually really really like the look of it so yeah it's in one of my favorite this 
month as well so that's what what number favorite is that i think that's the fourth yeah i think that's the fourth another thing that i have been surprisingly really liking that i didn't think i would like is the muji fountain pen um i have known for a while that muji has a fountain pen but i've never kind of never found it in my local so they have the steel one and they have the like plastic one and i tried the steel one just because i wanted to try and it wasn't very expensive it was like pretty affordable for a fountain pen it's around like 20 dollars australian which is even cheaper if you're in the US I think maybe it's like a 15 15 dollars something like that but actually really like it because this is probably one of the most flex pen that I have like a fountain pen wise because you can actually do like really thin strokes if you don't put too much pressure right but then the, the moment you kind of like do more um, pressure it actually becomes thicker so if you do thick and thin you can probably do it slightly but it won't be as good as a calligraphy for proper calligraphy nib but I actually like it that it has a little bit more like flexibility like you can go quite thin and then it can go a little bit thick as well so for $20 I, f I feel like it's a pretty good quality it's like it has a certain weight ish to it but actually i actually don't really like heavy pens but this pen is i feel like it's just perfect like it's not too heavy because i own a pilot metropolitan and for me that's a little bit heavy that if i write for too long like my hands get tired but this is actually pretty good like i actually really like it the uh, the ink inside is the kind of like the cartridge that I get from them which is just like normal black but I can't wait until <laughs> I finish the black so I can actually you know fill it with like nicer colors because I actually really like this pen I actually might pick up like the cheaper version because they do have like a a plastic version for cheaper it's probably like nine dollars nine or ten dollars Australian which if you're in the US, it's probably like what, six, seven dollars, which is like very affordable for a fountain pen. They don't come with any converter, but it just comes with one refill. If you have one of these like syringe for your, um, for your inks, usually this is what I use to refill things like refill the, what do you call it? Refill the refill. <laughs> Yeah, I guess refill the refill, refill the little um, plastic thing that holds the ink. Anyway, you can use the like a little ink syringe to refill it. So I find that it's okay that it doesn't have a converter. But also, if you want a converter, I think this probably it's probably compatible with one of the converters. You can research it in the in the, in the webs if you want to. But I have been really really liking this and I didn't think I would like it the one that I tested over in the store doesn't actually have any ink like it's dried up and when I press it it like it's way too flexible but I think it's probably because a lot of people have been trying it and just forcing it down kind of thing so that's all the favorite for this month or oh, also another semi favorite um like i don't have the thing right now but if you have been living under a rock or you weren't in my instagram you must know that the olive travels notebook is coming back april um i can't remember the date i think end of april i think 23rd of april if i'm not wrong but i'm so excited for it like you know i already did a comparison between like an olive and a from the non which i have over here so this is my current like olive this is not from travel's notebook this is from from the non that i got because i was so disappointed of the quality of the olive travel's notebook that i've gotten because it was a little bit scaly but i don't know if it was because it was left in the sto like a really bad storage for like five years or actually maybe it's a fake i don't know because to be honest it's been five years and it's so hard to get people are selling it for like 500 400 dollars and 
now that it's coming back and it's on the regular lineup which means that you can get it anytime you want that just makes me so happy because i've been really wanting that color for ages but that one that i've gotten for 500 dollars and had to return it just really broke my heart because i really wanted to love it but it come in quite like scaly and bad but so i returned it and i'm so glad i returned it because now i can get like a new one that is like very very decently priced so thank you so much travels company to actually listen to us for like asking incessantly for <laughs> that cover so i'm actually very very excited for april to come just so i can actually get that in my hands like i would be probably on no spend because i always do no spends during lent but i will definitely put some money aside like just to get that one just to make sure i actually got that one so yeah it's not really a favorite but i feel like it's really i just really wanted to share that news to you because i'm just so excited for it it probably isn't until like april or like even may favorites that I, like i'll have it in my hands maybe but i'm just so excited that we can actually get it in our hands and i'm just like you know basically the the amount of rambling that i'm doing today about it probably like already explain how excited i am for it but i don't have it right now so i'm so i'll stop talking about it um also i'm going to be doing a spread because you already know this i you i do this almost every month every time from last year where i do all my favorites into a spread i've been really really liking doing that just to make sure i have records on what i've been liking Wait, what happens to my February? Oh no, this is February favorites. Yeah, that's right. So I will be doing that right now. And um, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see me like make a spread out of these lovely things, then stay tuned. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. See ya.